good evening guys uh, this is um, USMLA videos and uh, please visit my website at uh, usmlevideos.net that is www.usmlevideos.net and you can find so many videos covering so many subjects and uh, that might be helpful to your preparation for uh, step one or step two or step three today i would like to discuss uh, HER2 new oncogene expressivity in breast cancers, certain metastatic breast cancers, and when it is overexpressed, its response to transtuzumab. Now, let me give you the basic points. Transtuzumab, also known as herceptin, it is used in the metastatic breast cancer that overexpresses HER2 new protein and um, thanks to Zmab, we can use it either alone or in combination when you use in combination you can use it along with doxorubicin or paclitaxel or cyclophosphamide so basically this is a monoclonal antibody thanks to Zmab is a monoclonal antibody useful in uh, HER2 new positive breast cancers. Now, what is HER2 new? HER2 new is a cell membrane surface bound receptor tyrosine kinase and uh, it is actually involved in the signal transduction pathway and through its uh, signal transduction pathway it, it is involved in the cell membrane and uh, cellular proliferation. So whenever there is HER2 NEW is there, there is more aggressiveness to the tumor because it proliferates the cells. But transtuzumab, it goes and attaches to the HER2 NEW and it increases P27. When P27 is activated, it actually decreases the cell proliferation. So basically, that is the mechanism of action for HER2 new and transtuzumab combination. HER2 new gene is a proto-oncogene and it is located on the long arm of chromosome 17. It is located on chromosome 17. So to recapture those points, 15 to 20 percent of breast cancers have an amplification of the HER2 new gene or our expression of its protein products. And uh, transtuzumab is active. Now HER2, that is uh, HER is after human epidermal growth receptor and uh, NEW is from neuroglioblastoma cell line in rat. So just for the sake of information, these are human epidermal growth receptors. And actually HER1, HER2 and NEW, these are similar to each other. That was what was relieved in um, uh, cloning experiments. So transtuzumab is uh, only effective when HER2 is overexpressed. It binds to, as I said earlier, to HER2 and it increases P27. Now, HER2 new expression, how do you measure it? There are three scales, three scores, 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus. 1 plus is not our expression, 2 plus is borderline, 3 plus is our expressor. So, for the breast cancer to treat it well, it should be 3 plus in order to gain the maximum effectiveness from stantosmum. So guys and girls, remember this point, that transtuzumab is a monoclonal a a antibody useful in the HER2 new positive breast cancers. Nowadays, they are also uh, uh, experimenting with lapatinib. Lapatinib is also a monoclonal antibody and uh, rightly, uh, currently it is under studies, but either lapatinib or transtuzumab they cause cardiac 
toxicity. Remember this. Their side effect is cardiac toxicity. That's why when you add up with doxorubicin, cardiac toxicity, it severely increases. So let me give you some more points. When you use tamstozumab alone, the response rate was about 15%. That's why once you treat, treat the patient with tamstozumab, it is always better to think about combination therapy. That is uh, adding certain drugs like doxorubicin or paclitaxel or docetaxel or uh, platinum salts like uh, carboplatin or cisplatin or even drugs like venorelbin or uh, gemcetabil. These are the drugs that take the effectiveness of transtosomab from 15% to over 50%. So, always think about a combination and uh, treatment with transtosomab is uh, well tolerated, you can use it up to one year and the cardiac toxicity is the main side effect. So those are the points I wanted to put in front of you this evening and uh, uh, please post your comments. Visit my website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net and uh, join the blog and uh, give your one point. This is uh, to initiate the discussion or this topic. If you have good points about tanstosomab or HER2 new or breast cancer, please post them so others can read them and learn them and prepare well for USMLE step 1 or step 2 or step 3. Thank you guys. See you there.